हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वॉट आई हैव बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट और बेस्ड ऑन द कमेंट्स वॉट एवर हैव गेट सो समबडी हैज़ टोल्ड मी टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू प्ले लिस्ट और मेक सम वीडियोज ओवर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक्स टू एडवांस सो बाई गेटिंग देयर कमेंट्स वॉट आई वर्ल्ड वॉट आई हैव डिसाइडेड सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड एक्चुअली that uh, we i will make a separate video for only for interview purpose so in that uh, in this particular video we will see what are the questions that interviewer may ask you uh, at the time of your interview see whatever the question right now i will discuss it's all the questions whatever i have faced since starting of my, uh, of my career in sap friends sorry for my english actually i know <laughs> it's a really uh, mere english utni bhi achhi nahi hai uh, totally bakwas so <laughs> let's start and uh, i would like to tell you one more thing one uh, again i would like to tell you that whatever the questions i will discuss over here all the questions has been faced by me in my entire career in sap mm since last 6 years so let's start with the questions and uh, i will uh, give you the answers uh, simultaneously but few of the questions i will give you as a task so what you have to do you will have to just uh, mention that questions in the comment box and uh, with particular answer with the particular answer what what is the answer of the questions i have asked so i will review the answers and uh, i will definitely reply on each and every comments so let's start let's start with the interview questions and one more thing that i will give you each and every questions whatever i have discussed right now whatever i will discuss right now in the comment box you can check it out or in the description uh, itself i will give the uh, each and every questions so see very basic question is what is mm enterprise structure so what is actually mm enterprise structure i hope if i hope each and everybody know about the mm enterprise structure so i will not discuss it about here right now because it's a very basic and but if you need it i will definitely explain just for that particular for that sake you will have to just mention a comment in the comment box i will definitely reply right or in my next video for the interview interview series i will definitely definitely reply don't worry so the uh, very uh, very next questions i have faced is what is p2p cycle see it is one of the most important questions for the fresher or the experience doesn't mean that you are a fresher that doesn't mean you are the experience but interviewer may ask you p2p cycle since you have 2 years of experience after that beyond the 2 years interviewer will not ask because interviewer interviewer itself know that uh, where the candidate is fall actually right so whenever you will answer the this particular question the p2p cycle interview will judge you that how much experience do you have really do you have or how much knowledge do you have really so let's uh, start with the answer see i have already created a video also uh, for the p2p cycle i will give you the link in the description uh, what we can uh, answer in that particular question that p2p cycle the process from procure the procure a material to pay the uh, to payment to the vendor is known as procure to pay and for more detail what i will do i will just give a link in the description below for the video whatever i have created over the p2p cycle you just watch it and you will get to know each and every point right so another question that would be the tricky question has been asked by an interviewer how to assign one plant with two different company code so think about it can we assign a single plant with two different company codes see the interviewer has asked how to assign a single plant in two different company codes but it is a really tricky questions i should uh, uh, right now i'm replying you that we cannot assign a single plant in two different company codes because if 
one plant is assigned in the particular company code the system will not allow you to assign that particular company that particular plant to the another company code the very next question is how to do grn as in sap so um, i think everyone is know about the migo transaction that uh, migo uh, that we used to do uh, goods receipt and uh, our inventory used to up like so but the thing is here we can uh, we can also add some of the point that at the time of doing migo at the time of doing migo we do have a certain kind of accounting document used to generate based on the transaction whatever the transaction we are doing like suppose we are uh, we are purchasing some uh, domestic like uh, bottles or uh, like anything uh, some uh, finished goods or the raw material uh, this having two kinds of accounting document we generate like uh, first of all uh, the inventory will up that means inventory will debit and uh, grir would be credit right this, this two type of accounting document will generate in the migo and very next question what is the next question we uh, that interviewer may ask let's come to the material master so you will say okay no problem they will ask you very basic questions tell me the what are the views available in the material master you cannot expect that interviewer may ask you this kind of questions like right so interviewer has uh, you know uh, they will play with you so he is asking what what he is asking that tell me the views what are the views available in the material master so what are the views available in the material master certain views like uh, basic data basic data one uh, import uh, uh, sorry <laughs> sorry for the uh, sorry for this sales view uh, sales data purchasing data and uh, warehouse data plant data accounting data uh, that's uh, certain types of views all the views is available i can show you over here mm03 let's check it out any material is available over here any material any material uh, let me let me check it out let me check it out why no material is available uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, okay bro no issue APL one. Okay, no issue. See, what are the views available? Basic data one, basic data two, sales organization. We can say for post those two, we can say basic data, sales data, uh, internal trade, uh, international trade export data, purchasing data, MRP data, advanced planning data plant data warehousing data quality management data accounting data such kind of uh, we can say that such kind of views is available in the material master but one more thing please go through each and every checkbox or each and every uh, that uh, uh, views uh, like general data like material authorization group like dimension like packaging data in in every views because interviewer can ask you so we cannot take we cannot say that interviewer will not ask interviewer may ask you so it's depend on him but uh, but as a fresher will not go that much of uh, you know deep uh, they will definitely uh, simply ask you the views so very big uh, the, the next question I'll ask you where are the master data or the transaction data used to save where are those save where we can see the master data or as well as the transactional data so i would like to tell you that all the data whatever the available in the sap system used to save in the table so we have to prefer table in e, e, oh, what we have to reply over here see all the data used to save in the table itself so so very next question he may ask you suppose i have made a mistake in the transactional data or i have made a mistake in the master data so should i so where we can change the data in the table so i'll tell you one thing the master data itself we can change in the master data we don't have to go through the table and one more thing the very important thing i would like to tell you that <clears throat> we do not use to change any kind of data in the table right and uh, for the transition data and the master data have if you have the dis uh, definition of the master data itself this having definition of the master data that the master data which is create centrally and it is updated time to time or based on the uh, changing changes and in the master data we used to do in the master changes in the master data itself so i hope 
this is the very basic questions uh, these are the questions whatever i have discussed these are the very basic questions may ask in the interview in the very next part of the video i will also discuss some uh, other questions related to the interview uh, from basics to advanced so i have started the this series particular series i will uh, post in the different playlist in the this particular channel uh, in with the name of interview questions and answers and uh, one more thing uh, i will again uh, tell you that i will give you the each and every questions whatever i have discussed in the description itself you can check it out in the description box and if you have any query and if you want any uh, if you want to give me any suggestion please comment me in the comment box i will definitely uh, you know uh, correct uh, correct my correct me because uh, you know i am also in the learning stage okay thank you thanks to watch my video please do if you like the video please hit on the like button and please share with your friends who are actually working in the or uh, who are there who are uh, 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 starting their career in the sap mm and uh, please subscribe my channel thank you